This is a good time for a question because this will actually take a couple of minutes. Or I'll just sit here and perhaps sing a song. I'm not a very good singer, so I suggest you ask me a question. <laughs> right. I can probably turn this whole <laughs> Okay, here's one. Uh-huh. Uh, Susan, do you have any tips on rolling out fondant? Do I have any tips on rolling out fondant? Make sure that you knead your fondant up very well because most people, a lot of people don't do it enough and you're not going to get the elasticity you need when you don't do it enough. Uh, need to do it rather quickly so it doesn't start to dry out. Make sure you're not by an open window that there's a draft or with an air conditioner shooting down on you because that'll dry out your fondant also. Um, and then just cover the cake and like I said do the top part first um, and that's about it large pieces if you're gonna do large cakes it's good to have a friend with you slide that cake underneath like if it's an 18 inch you can also roll it out on plastic if you like um, I don't really like that because it actually takes longer for you to roll it out like on plastic or between plastic um, it's kind of more work what is that black board made of? This is foam core. This is a foam core board. And I'm just going to flip it over here so I can do the back. Okay. So it's foam core that you get at any craft store or an art supply store. Even probably the local like super chain like Walmart or most a lot of places sell it. So it's kind of lightweight but it's it's strong, kind of sturdy. It looks like a lot of, we're losing a lot of people. So we're just going to keep, ta ta keep taping and come back as soon as uh, they can. So we're losing people because... No reason. <laughs> but let me ask you another They're question. You got it. Um, another question for you. I think I want a little bit more color. Yes. What is the technique or techniques that you have struggled with the most? Technique or technique? <laughs> Probably just saying the words, no. Yeah. Um, that yeah. I've struggled with? As far as any kind of cake decorating, huh? Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't know. That was helpful. Could be this cake in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, another I question? I don't know. I mean, you always kinda, I always kind of make things work. Maybe not the way I intended them. <laughs> And uh, how, how to firmly attach the little rolled fondant balls as a border to, to, to survive delivery? Um, just water. I just use water. And, but whenever I have fondant, little fondant balls, or even sugar pearls attached to the cake, I always take extra with me. But if you have enough water on them, when you attach them, they should be fine. It's usually the sugar pearls that you put on the smaller ones that may kind of roll off once you hit, and not all of them, usually not a lot of them, or the dragees that we're not allowed to have here in California, but yeah. you guys all get them. Yeah. So always take extra ones with you. Okay. And someone says that they heard uh, that it's not good to put cakes covered in fondant in the refrigerator. What is your opinion? My opinion is you must test your refrigeration. I always refrigerate all my cakes because I think it's very important to refrigerate your cakes. Uh, to prevent, um, you know, any kind of uh, sinking or anything of the cake on delivery. Um, you need to test your refrigeration.